Ladies and gentlemen, and friends from the press, I'm Brian Burrell, and I'll be your MC for the press conference this evening. So this Sunday is the moment we've all been waiting for, one of the most anticipated boxing matchups of the year, right here at the Venetian Macau. Pacquiao versus Rios, the clash in Kotai. Yeah, get, get, get some applause there. Thank you. <laughs> so both Mr. Tracy and Mr. Aram are very excited to bring us their third collaboration, Pacquiao versus Rios, the clash in Kotai, where the fighter of the decade, Congressman Manny Pacman Pacquiao, and former world champion Brandon Bam Bam Rios will battle each other in a 12-round welterweight showdown. So without further ado, May I now introduce the sponsor of this thrilling boxing event here in Macau, Sands China Limited President and CEO, Mr. Edward Tracy, to say a few words. Ni Min Hao, bienvenidos, welcome ladies and gentlemen. Friends from the media, uh, it was only about six months ago that we announced, right after Bob and I had a handshake deal at uh, Shea Ming's uh, second fight here that we were going to go after this fight and bring something really spectacular to the Kotai Arena and to Macau. It seems hard to imagine how hard we've worked, how many miles we've traveled over the last six months together around the world at 40 some thousand miles together and we're still friends. Uh, that having been said, part of our strategy here at the Venetian and with Sands China Limited is to bring diversification to the tourism product and entertainment is one of our signature items, whether it's concerts like you'll see Friday and Saturday with Alicia Keys, Rihanna a couple of weeks ago, and a big surprise that we'll announce on Sunday at the fight uh, coming up on March 9th of uh, 2014. Um, but sports has really become a big part of the culture in China, in particular the Macau Open, which is sponsored by us. Uh, tennis events, uh, the biggest of which have been sponsored by us, and a big event coming up in December. Um, Basketball, NBA has been huge here, and Bob and I are really thrilled to be able to bring traditional boxing to China and coalesce that around the fabulous uh, professional debut of uh, our good friend Shea Ming. That having been said, I think what you're going to see here on Sunday is an absolute phenomena. Um, people who are more familiar with boxing history than I are calling it the fight of the, potentially the fight of the decade. We certain, certainly believe in that. We've invested a lot of time and a lot of money to get us from there to here. And we're very, very proud of our relationship with Bob Aram and Top Rank, and proud to say that we work together like one company or one family, and that's why we've been able to bring three spectacular events to Macau in less than eight months. Um, and this, I hope, is another level of boxing that we're able to bring here to set the stage for what happens in the future. Um, I'd be remiss if I didn't remind you of the horrible disaster uh, that was just experienced in the Philippines and remind you that there are donation boxes all around um, our facilities, uh, back of the house, in front of the house, and Sands China uh, just contributed $100,000 to the Red Cross specifically to be used in the Philippines and we're also contributing all the uh, ancillary income from the closed circuit television uh, for that cause. So with that in mind, I want to thank you all uh, for attending at this odd hour. Uh, and putting up with our schedule for the next three days. Uh, but I promise you, you will be greatly rewarded with the entertainment value you see in this fight. So congratulations to Top Rank, to Manny, and to our friend Brandon. And uh, we're looking forward to a fabulous event. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Mr. Tracy. And now I'd like to introduce you to the Hall of Fame promoter, Top Rank founder and CEO, Bob Aram, to present you the fighters of the Clash in Kotai. Mr. Aram. Thank you. Ni hao. To everyone here, good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and to everybody watching in the United States, good morning, New York, because people in New York are just getting up. It's 8.30 in the morning uh, in the Big Apple, and everybody in the United States is watching this press conference now on a streaming uh, video. When Ed talked about this fight, and I must say, we've been doing business in top rank uh, since 1970, and we've never 
been with an organization as cooperative uh, as Ed Tracy's organization here at the Venetian and his entire staff. And it's because of this cooperation that we've been able to present to the public the events that we have. The April uh, uh, event, the one in July, and now this big, big clash at Kotai. So when Ed says the event is Sunday, it is Sunday. But for all those watching from the United States, it's really Saturday night because the event will be shown live Saturday night uh, starting at 9 p.m. New York time, 6 p.m. Pacific time. All, and it will be shown all over the United States, all over Canada and Puerto Rico on pay-per-view television. We also want to acknowledge the help of our sponsors. First, our sponsor for the last seven years for these events, Takati, which is a beer which started and is still the leading beer in Mexico, and now it's taking the United States by storm, thanks to its association with boxing. It's becoming one of the leading brands in the southwestern part of the United States, uh, in California, and generally start ex starting to sell very big all over the United States. Now, Takati wants me to make, uh, read a statement that they've supplied, uh, that they're so delighted to be associated with this fight, that they have uh, been sponsoring all of Manny Pacquiao's fights and have sponsored Bam Bam Rios's two fights uh, with Mike Alvarado. Uh, also, Takati is doing something very interesting as far as United States uh, uh, purchases of pay-per-view. Anybody who purchased the pay-per-view and a 12-pack of Takati beer gets a $25 rebate on the cost of pay-per-view. Now that really is something, in many cases, that's almost a 40% uh, return on the price of the pay-per-view. So I want to thank Takati. Uh, they call it Takati con character. Takati with character. It's a great beverage, and they're a great supporter of us and boxing. And we also want to acknowledge another sponsor. This sponsor is a motion picture, which will depict one of the big boxing events of year, of the year and many years. It's called the Grudge Match, and it matches Sylvester Stallone against Robert De Niro, and it will be released all over the United States on Christmas Day, and I understand we have a trailer from that movie that we can play here now. Go so watch the screen. The Grudge Match, coming to you, theaters all over the United States on Christmas Day. Now I'd like to introduce a man who we can say helped make all of this possible, without whom a lot of this probably never would have happened. He's a hero in the great country of China. 
He won three medals in Olympic competition, a bronze and then two golds. He is the poster boy for boxing in China, and this is the third card in Macau that he will be appearing on. I'd like to call him to the microphone now. Please welcome Zhao Shiming. Thank you, Bob. Today, I'm very excited to be here with you. This is my third match. I'm going to be here with the Chinese people. I'm going to be here with the Chinese people. I'm going to be here with the Chinese people. I'm going to be here with the Chinese people. First, thank you, Edward, and thank you, Bob, uh, for getting me back to here, coming back to Venetian, just feel like uh, coming home. The last two victories here give me a great boost of confidence. Uh, it is a great honor to be featured on the same car with the greats such as uh, uh, Rios and uh, Pacquiao. It is a great uh, encouragement for myself as well. Uh, 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 I'm also very grateful to Manny and his team for inviting uh, myself to, uh, to train with him in uh, General Santos. I had a great experience there and watching Manny training um, and to, uh, I'm really inspired by, uh, by Manny uh, at his age. Um, he still trains really hard, even harder than us. Every time we feel tired and we just look at Manny and think we can still squeeze something out of ourselves. Um, and he's, uh, I'm very happy with what I, uh, the training camp in Philippines. I feel I, um, the result is even better than the first two training camps. Uh, can you say Manny is our uh, Chuseo's Ushang, um, uh, this time also uh, thank Manny and his team for hospitality in, uh, in, in the Philippines and during the time we were there uh, the unfortunate tragedy hit and um, we every day we pray for the good people in the Philippines and we hope that um, they will get through this and um, uh, be even stronger. Uh, uh, um, I'm confident I'm going to win this match again, and, but the, the, real, um, the real excitement will also come from the, uh, the, uh, the Manny and uh, Rios' fight, and I hope everybody will enjoy it. And once again, thank you everybody for coming to the to the event and uh, hope you have a great time. Thank you, thank you. Welcome to China. Yeah. This card will be shown in the United States live uh, on Saturday night. Uh, starting, as I said, 9 p.m. New York time, uh, 6 p.m. California time. And we're very pleased that the event will be distributed live on pay-per-view television by our good friends at HBO. And here representing HBO is the president of sports at HBO. Please welcome Ken Hirschman.
Thank you, Bob. Thank you and welcome uh, to everybody joining us from around the world. This fight is indeed a global event, and I think it demonstrates the breadth and vitality of the sport of boxing. Many professional sports, as we know, are trying to develop that international fan base. Well, boxing's been a trailblazer on that front for years, and this, this event actually demonstrates the evidence of that um, global appeal, so we're excited to be a part of it. Uh, let me take a moment to thank our gracious hosts, Ed, Tracy, and uh, the Venetian. We're far from mainland US, but um, they've certainly made us feel at home here, so thank you very much. Uh, as Bob said, for boxing fans and media at home in the United States, I have to reinforce, um, I've been told, that this pay-per-view event will be identical to the mainland-based US pay-per-view events. That means when you order through your cable or satellite provider, you'll see the event starting 9 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Pacific. We have a full undercard, and the main event of Pacquiao Rios is likely to touch gloves around 11, 15, 11, 30. So don't worry, we're on your time. Also, we have a full slate of programming scheduled for fans and the media in the U.S. this week. Two highlights I need to bring up. The finale of 24-7 Pacquiao Rios airs Thursday night, 10 p.m. Eastern, 10 p.m. Pacific. That has some surprise footage in it that I'm sure many of you have heard about, so we look forward to seeing that coverage. Friday at 6.30 p.m. is the weigh-in live on HBO as we come to you live from Macau and the fighters square off for the first last time before they uh, meet in the ring Saturday night. Uh, finally, a salute to uh, the main event competitors. Manny is um, headlining his 15th pay-per-view telecast for HBO, so it's a very exciting milestone there. And Brandon, we've been a, you know, fortunate to be part of his meteoric rise. We've been uh, privileged to watch him in some of the most exciting fights we've ever televised, and I'm sure he won't disappoint Saturday night, adding this to a long list of great fights. So again, join us Saturday Night Live, New York time, 9 p.m., 6 p.m. Pacific, on HBO Pay-Per-View. Thank you very much. Both of the prior events, as well as this event in Macau, have been supervised by our friends at the World Boxing Organization. And I'd like to introduce to you now the Vice President of the WBO. Please welcome Leon Panancillo. Thanks, Bob. I want to take this opportunity to, uh, to congratulate Top Rank uh, and its staff and also the Venetians uh, for making this whole thing happen. Without them and without the fighters, uh, Manny Pacquiao and uh, Brandon Rios and his coaches, uh, this would never happen. <clears throat> um, well, we're finally here, and uh, we are honored and grateful to be part of this historical event taking place at Kotai Arena on November 23rd in the States and uh, November 24th in, in Asia. Uh, in behalf of the World Boxing Organization, we uh, reveal to you today a work of art, a trophy for the winner, our special WBO International Belt ordered by the WBO President to be presented to the winner of this most anticipating international match of the year, Manny Pacquiao versus Brandon Rios. <clears throat> this luxurious championship international belt uh, belt has been premiered into perfection, displaying sparkling, beautiful uh, handset Swarovski crystals with uh, special handcrafted profiles, uh, sculptural uh, in emblem that uniquely imitate the uh, profile uh, image of the fighters themselves uh, in gold mirror uh, finish. Uh, nevertheless, it's it's not about the uh, uh, the belt; it's about the fighters that we uh, we are all here for. Uh, their determination and will to win that drives them to glory is what uh, fight fans are eager to see. The belt will be secondary, however, this is uh, 
uh, keep this in mind that their sentimental value for the belt will be with them forever to be remembered and to be proud of a symbol reminding them of the hard earned accomplishment in many years to come. Uh, I would like to congratulate Bob again for uh, having uh, the WBO uh, present its, uh, its, its championship. Uh, without them, uh, you know, we never can, can hold this uh, mega fight here in, in, in Asia. Thank you very much. What has happened here at the Venetian Kotai Arena in Macau in April, then again in July, and now with a major event here on, in November will, I am sure, have historic significance. I firmly believe that boxing will become a major sport in China, including Macau, Hong Kong, and throughout this area. And I believe that when people reflect years from now about how big boxing has become in China and this area, they will look back to the contributions made here by the Venetian and the events that we have had here, which in effect have introduced the sport of professional boxing uh, to China. And it's something that we are all, everybody here is part of, and everybody here uh, years from now will look back on this event as being of very big importance. Two fighters will face off in this ring on Sunday morning, Saturday night, because they'll kill me if I don't say that again, in the United States. And the world will be watching. The contest pits an American fighter from the mid-western part of the country, the mid-country, the Plains State, Kansas, who now lives in California, against a fighter from the Philippines who also represents that country as a congressman. It shows how the world is really a small place. It shows that with competition, fighters from all over the world, athletes from all over the world, can face each other uh, with sportsmanship and with determination. Now, we at Top Rank have had the privilege of promoting both of these fighters. Brandon Rios came to us out of the amateurs program in the United States. He was a runner-up for the Olympic boxing team in the United States. He's had a magnificent professional career, and now he stands as one of the top fighters, not only in the United States, but the world. He is accompanied here today by his trainer, Robert Garcia, and by his strength uh, coach, Donald Leary. I'd like now to bring to the microphone a good friend of mine and a great trainer. Please welcome the trainer of Brandon Rios, Robert Garcia. Good evening to everybody. First thing I want to do is congratulate Manny for his career he's had. 15 pay-per-views, something to admire, something that personally 
I admire her and I got to respect. I want to now talk a little bit of what happened this morning, the incident that happened. We had uh, plenty of camera crews, photographers, reporters there. I don't see why none of them are putting up exactly what happened. I want to, I don't know what HBO 24-7 is going to put up, but I want to invite everybody, everybody holding a camera here, everybody sitting down here, Bob Barron himself, to go to esnewsreporting.com so they could see exactly what happened from beginning to end. Every word that was said, everything that was said, go to esnewsreporting.com because that's where you're going to see exactly what happened. I don't know what 24-7 is going to put. I don't know what every other reporter is saying, but that's the question everybody's asking us. But go to esnewsreporting.com and you'll see from beginning to end exactly what happened. Thanks to Eli Segbeck, he's the only one that dared to put this up. Nobody else is daring. And there was plenty of reporters, plenty of photographers that, uh, that are putting pictures up that are making our team look bad. But if you guys watch that on esnewsreporting.com, you guys will see exactly what happened. Thank you. Well, referring to the incident this morning, there is a controversy, and it has to be decided. So I've asked my wife, Lovey, who's sitting out there, to call our friend Judge Judy, and uh, we're going to do something on Skype, and each of them will present the case, and Judy will decide. I don't know if you Chinese people, you know who Judge Judy is? Manny Pacquiao's team has been with him for a long, long time. Because of my association with Manny, I've come to know them all and respect them all. Manny is accompanied today uh, by his assistant trainer, uh, Raja Buboy Fernandez. And by Hall of Fame trainer and one of the great guys in boxing, Freddie Roach. Freddie? Yeah, go watch that website because that's his friends and he edited it for him. <laughs> I mean, how dumb is that? But um, anyway, um, we had a great training camp. Manny trained really hard for this fight. Uh, General Santos was a great training camp. We, uh, Manny was at home. He's very comfortable. Every day was a good day. Um, we did a lot of hard work. Um, I came to camp about six weeks ago. Boy uh, ran the camp for the first two weeks and uh, did a great job. Uh, Manny's in the best shape of his life. Um, I expect him to have a performance of his lifetime. I've never seen him look better. Manny, thank you for working so hard. Great job. Sunday, no problem. Thank you. Brandon Bam Bam Rios is an exceptional fighter. He's managed by Cameron Duncan, who couldn't be here because of health problems. But Cameron is the kind of manager that likes to take very few risks. So I remember when Brandon fought his first title fight, and the champion was beating the hell out of him, and Cameron was glaring at me when Brandon, who doesn't quit and keeps fighting, turned it around, right, you remember? And knocked out the champion and won the title. And then I knew that in Brandon Rios, we had something special. He's a terrific fighter, he's a great young man, he has a great sense of humor, and he's been wonderful to have on this promotion. Please welcome 
now from fighting out of Oxnard, California, formerly from Kansas City, please welcome Brandon Bam Bam Rios. Hello, everybody. Uh, good, uh, good evening. And I'm very excited to be here, fight on the biggest stage of my life. And Sunday is going to be a big problem. They think I'm no problem. It's going to be a big problem. So everybody's going to find out Sunday that when I'm trained myself right, when I'm disciplined, this camp I've been disciplined, when I train myself, when I work myself, you can see the best out of me. And fighting the best is always bringing the best out of me. When I train myself for my championship fight, I was in the best shape of my life. Look what happened. When I fought Anthony on, I was in the best shape of my life. Look what else happened. And I, when I fought uh, Alvarado the first time, I was in the best shape of my life, and look what happened. I think this camp is the best I've ever been. I've been disciplined. I've been following diet. I've been doing everything I have to do to win, and been actually following the instruction of the corners, especially my coach, Robert. Before, I never did, but this time I did. And you guys Sunday is going to see great results. And everybody that think I'm just a tuna fight, I'm nobody's tuna fight. I'm nobody's sparring partner. I'm nobody's punching bag. Because the last time I believe, a punching bag don't punch back. And I'm nobody's punching bag. So Sunday, you guys are going to find out a new star is on the rise. I, I'm not going to stop for anything. I'm a monster when it comes in that ring. See you guys Sunday. I first came to the Philippines in uh, 1975 when we did the Thriller in Manila, uh, which pitted the great Muhammad Ali and Joe Fraser in one of the greatest fights of all time. I spent some time subsequently in the Philippines and loved the country and the people, but I didn't reconnect with the Philippines and still I started promoting uh, Manny Pacquiao. And I came to love the Philippine people uh, because of their attitude and who they are and the kind of character they have. Now, people in the United States and all over the world know the Filipino people because they've come to work and live and become citizens of the United States. They're all over the Middle East, all over Macau, Hong Kong, they're hard workers, they're honest people, and they got a great attitude towards life. And that's very important with the calamity that they've been through a couple of weeks ago. But if anybody can rise from such a calamity, it's the Philippine people. Because there's no quitting them, and they keep coming, and they keep doing. They're the best workers in the world. They're the best people in the world. And they will overcome, believe me. And representative of the Philippine people is the congressman from Sarangani, who epitomizes all of the strengths and greatness of this people. He's not only a great champion, but he's a great person. He donates millions to charity. He cares about his people. And the people in the Philippines care about him. So on Sunday, Saturday night in the United States, he will represent his country and his people. And they will all be glued to their television. And they will watch their hero, who is not only a great fighter, a great person, a great congressman, but he is one of the most wonderful people that you could meet. It's a pleasure for me once again to introduce the great Manny Pac-Man Pacquiao. Good evening, everybody. 
First, I would like to thank God for this uh, good night and the strength that He gave it to us. And I want to thank you to Bob Arum and Top Rank Promotion and to all the media and press. Thank you so much to all your support. Without you, we're not here. And of course, the Venetian, uh, Edward uh, Tracy, and to all the, the um, Team uh, Rios and Team Pakia also. Uh, you know, all I can say is uh, every team prepare this, this fight. My team, we, we prepare this fight, and he's, he prepared for this fight. Let, you know, let everybody uh, finish in the ring and, you know, n no, um, what, what we call this is no trash talk and before the fight is, is not good example to all the people who are admiring boxing. For me, all I can say is, if anyone who has a grievance against someone, forgive as the Lord forgive you. All I can say is, you know, this is a sports. I mean, uh, nothing personal. We're doing our job in the ring, and then after that, you know, nothing personal. We just, this is our, our job to, to perform and to enter, entertain people. And to all the people who are, who are um, uh, watching right now, uh, especially um, the American people, don't miss this fight. It's going to be a good fight because... Um, Reyes is saying he's hungry to win this fight and I'm also I'm hungry to win this fight because I, I've been losing twice for the past, you know, uh, last year. Anyway, I'm doing my best to, to give a good fight and to win the fight, especially of what happened in my countryman, uh, what happened in the Philippines there about the typhoon and this fight. To all the people and families who are affected by the store, the typhoon, this fight is for you. Thank you so much, and thank, thanks be to God. Thank you. To tomorrow, we will have round table set up here in the press room where we will bring the undercard fighters uh, who will uh, be available for questions uh, from the media. All of the undercard fighters will be here. Uh, we have a terrific, terrific card. There's this kid from Puerto Rico, uh, Felix Verdejo, one of the big future superstars in boxing. He will be on the card. Uh, fighting a six-round fight. Uh, Felix will be here tomorrow. Uh, Evgeny uh, Gradovich, the featherweight champion, will be here. Billy Dibbs, his uh, opponent, the former champion, will be here. Andy Ruiz, Thor Hamer, two great heavyweights will be here. Uh, Zhao Shiming. So it's going to be very worthwhile for the press to talk to these uh, great fighters. Uh, as we continue in the week, uh, we will have a lot of events taking place here uh, in Macau, but also because the United States and the pay-per-view distribution is so important, uh, we will have at the Venetian in Las Vegas uh, radio uh, stations from all over the United States, uh, both English language and Spanish language, uh, 13 of the biggest station, radio stations in our country uh, will be broadcasting from the Venetian in Las Vegas, and we are bringing in some of the great fighters to talk to these radio stations including Big George Foreman, uh, Sugar Ray Leonard, uh, Ray Mancini, Roberto Duran, Marco Antonio Barrera, Eric Morales, uh, and uh, uh, Mike Alvarado, uh, among others, so, and also Tim Bradley. So it will be 
very, very interesting for the people in the United States, all over the country, to listen to these uh, fighters and former fighters being interviewed and talk about uh, this fight. Uh, so it's been a great pleasure uh, to have this press conference. This is a tremendous event. We're going to pose the two fighters now. I want to thank you all for coming, and we'll see you the rest of the week. Now, the weigh-in will take place at what time precisely? 7.30. 7 7.30, a Saturday morning. Remember, night is day, day is night, and we're doing a lot of this in conjunction with the time uh, in the United States because there we have a pay-per-view audience which we anticipate to be more than a million homes uh, will be purchasing uh, this fight. So thank you all for coming and we'll see you the rest of the week. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Aaron. And we now have all the fighters and their staff in front of the stage for some group pitchers and some solos and pulls offs.
All right, thank you very much, gentlemen. Now, just before we move on to the press conference, which both fighters will be here on the stage, I'd just like to give you a few reminders. Now, if you don't have tickets yet for this Sunday, they're almost out, so you better act quickly. Because of the big demand for the event, we have two additional venues here in the Venetian where you can watch the fight on live feeds at the Milan Ballroom and the Bellini Lounge, starting at just 100 MOP. You can be together with a room full of other boxing fans. And all of the proceeds and profits from the Milan Ballroom will go, be donated to the disaster relief in the Philippines. In addition, the Venetian Macau will match those profits dollar for dollar. So that'll be a double donation to the Disaster Relief Fund. And as Mr. Aaron mentioned, the way offs will be Saturday morning at 7.30 a.m. And you know what a good show that is. Always a good way in show from top rank, so be sure to see you there. Okay, well now we'll give the time over to the interviews here on the stage. Thank you very much. And we look forward to seeing you Sunday at the Clash in Cotai.